These days, in the fruit section of a supermarket, one may see a sign beside a price tag saying so-and-so degrees sugar content. The higher sugar content marks, the sweeter fruits are. Showing the sugar content helps customers know the quality of the products they are going to buy. The taste of food is determined by the concentration of various elements such as sweetness, saltiness, or sourness. A surprising scientific phenomenon is utilized to measure densities. It is light refraction. It was adopted as the fruit juice measurement instrument by JAS, Japan Agricultural Standards, and became popular among fruit growers. We have used it since my father's day. It is necessary to check the sugar content for yearly grading and to determine the best time for harvesting. We have used the Atago refractometer since the early 60s. Although we continue to judge the taste of our sweet beans by their consistency when ladling it, after using Atago's refractometer, our taste is rarely inconstant. It's a great tool for us. Atago's refractometer makes a great contribution to maintaining a traditional taste. Furthermore, Atago has developed their own completely original refractometers, such as the beef bowl sauce model and the Chinese noodle soup model, which enable the control and maintenance of taste. If we rely on our own sense of taste, it is sometimes affected by our day-to-day -day physical condition or by the climate. We use Atago's refractometer to serve with a consistent taste. The Japan Fruit Juice Association inspects the density levels of drinks and juices released each year with Atago's latest refractometer. We examine the densities of fruit juices produced by beverage manufacturers. By measuring product samples, we check whether density levels are properly indicated on the package. In this process, we use Atago's refractometer at accuracy of 0.01%. As manufacturers only control their product's quality in units of 0.1%, for closer examination it is necessary to measure in units of 0.01%. For example, refractometers are used for quality control of industrial oil, blood serum, and medicines. In addition, recently, at Kitasato University, Atago's refractometer is used for measuring the refractive index of artificial lenses, which act as real lenses for eyes. When performing cataract surgery, artificial plastic lenses are implanted. We have to calculate and then decide the strength of the lenses before the operation. When light passes from air to water, the light bends at the water's surface. This phenomenon of light bending at the boundary zone when it passes from one medium to another is known as light refraction. Because of light refraction, a straw placed in a glass of water appears bent. This refractive index varies according to the density of a substance. Now let's see how it works. Prepare two beakers with water. One contains only water, while the other contains a lot of dissolved sugar. Then place a pencil into both of them. You can see the pencil appears to be more bent in the sugar water. So its refractive index is affected by the density of a liquid. 
By using the basic principle of light refraction, a refractometer measures the density of a sample liquid. Apply some drops on the prism surface of a refractometer and expose it to light. Light being incident to the sample liquid is refracted at the boundary of the prism surface and illuminates the scale. Scale value varies as the refractive index is affected by density.